Dark Spawn. Even the Dread Wolf. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, as I personally wait for Dragon Age 4, and there are many teasers along the way, comes Microsoft's update on boosting the frame per second on older Xbox One games. As I peruse the list, and it's a lot of them, I found Dragon Age Inquisition now at 60 FPS for the Xbox Series X and S. This is an opportunity to take a second look to see if the update demands a return to the world of Dragon Age once again. Dragon Age Inquisition was developed by Bioware and released by Electronic Arts in 2014 for the PS4, Xbox One, and Windows PC. This singular game was the main reason I got back into PC gaming as my older PC could not handle the game anymore and the look on the Xbox 360 showed the age of a system that I could no longer bear. With a quick update, I spent less than an Xbox One or PS4 to upgrade my PC enough to even rival those systems with about half the cost. Playing the game with pure bliss as I played in 1440p at 30 frames per second. At the time, I was happy, content, and not a worry in the world except playing nightly with over 100 hours under my belt. Later, after eventually purchasing an Xbox Series X, the opportunity to upgrade games just like a PC brought back so many gems to revisit like Dragon Age Inquisition. Already set at 900p and 30 frames per second, the frame per second boost plays the game still at 900p but now at 60 frames per second. We won't really rate the game as I will probably still give the game way too many high scores as it was an absolute blast to play back in the day. We will see if the performance boost changes my feelings. Playing the game once again, I notice a smoothness like none other. Playing the game on the Xbox One is much nicer than the Xbox 360, but the game definitely loses some quality compared to the PC. It just runs better as the Xbox One seems to chug a bit more. Nothing to take away from the game, but it's just a smoother on PC as it stays at a 30 frames per second. In 60 frames per second, the biggest revelation is that the game just responds better in exploring the world and in combat. Everything seems faster and responsive. The experience alone perked up first as I never knew that this would be possible. Role playing games don't necessarily need to be played at 60 FPS as 30 works fine with its combat and storytelling and isn't as demanding as say a first person shooter. With that said, I would prefer a 60 frames per second boost if I had the choice. The game feels more complete and worthy of gameplay. I no longer feel like a chore to explore and fight after a while as it's still a wonder to see in action and on screen. Beefing up my PC once again this past year, I had to take a second look at the PC as I did with the Series X. The PC essentially destroys the Series X's frame boost only because of one attribute the PC can do in 60 FPS and that's playing in a higher crisper resolution and with higher fidelity in visuals. We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. If we flank them, we may gain the advantage. Playing the game again, I got lost in the PC version as I think it plays higher at 60 frames per second at times with a higher visual fidelity. Running silky smooth 
is an unfair comparison, but a fun one. Begs the reason why I have both PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Getting lost again playing both versions is a must play again on a Series X with its super discount at under $10 is a steal. But if you have the power of a gaming PC, it's hard to say no to that as that is my choice, the way to play this game. Either way you look at it, the second look upgrades make this game so much better to revisit and play as you wait for Dragon Age 4 in 2022 or 2023. That's it for me on this take two look at Dragon Age Inquisition on the Series X and PC. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. I'm starting to worry about these stories that everyone's heard. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. They only say you're the last great hope for Thetis. Oh, wonderful. Damn. Uh. Yeah.